Greetings everyone, today we plunge into the complex world of sleep, or more specifically, why some of us find it elusive. The topic in focus is the 7 reasons why you can't sleep at night and what you should do about it. We all love a good night's rest, but for some, this simple pleasure remains frustratingly out of reach. This is often due to a condition known as insomnia. Insomnia, in its simplest form, is the difficulty of falling or staying asleep. It can transform bedtime into a nightly battle against restlessness and persistent wakefulness. A multitude of factors can trigger this sleep disorder. Lifestyle habits such as irregular sleep schedules or unhealthy diet are often to blame. But it's not just about what we do, sometimes it's about what's happening inside us. Certain medications and health conditions both physical and mental can also play a significant role in causing insomnia. Now that we've understood what insomnia is, let's delve into the reasons that might be stealing your sleep. But before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Ever wondered if that nightcap or late evening coffee affects your sleep? It does, and here's how. Alcohol and caffeine, while they might seem like harmless habits, can significantly disrupt your sleep patterns. Alcohol, although it might help you fall asleep initially, it interferes with your sleep cycle, reducing the quality of your sleep. On the other hand, caffeine, a stimulant, can keep you awake by blocking sleep-inducing chemicals in the brain and increasing adrenaline production. Consuming it close to bedtime can make it harder for you to fall asleep, and even if you do manage to drift off, you may find yourself waking up frequently throughout the night. The science behind this is clear, both alcohol and caffeine can interfere with your body's natural sleep patterns, leading to a restless night. So, the next time you reach for that cup of coffee or glass of wine late in the evening, remember how it might cost you a good night's sleep. What we do before bedtime and any chronic pain we experience can significantly impact our sleep. Let's find out how. Our bedtime habits play a pivotal role in how well we sleep. Establishing a consistent routine signals to our brain that it's time to wind down and prepare for sleep. This could include activities like reading a book, listening to soothing music, or practicing mindfulness meditation. On the other hand, chronic pain can be a major disruptor of sleep. It can make falling asleep more difficult and even when we do manage to drift off, pain can pull us back into wakefulness. It's a difficult cycle that can lead to poor sleep quality and fatigue during the day. So, it's imperative to consult with a healthcare provider to manage chronic pain effectively. It's crucial to establish a relaxing bedtime routine and manage chronic pain for a peaceful sleep. Night shifts, mental health disorders, and stress, a trio that can wreak havoc on your sleep. Here's why. Starting with night shifts, they can throw our body's circadian rhythm, the internal clock that regulates sleep and wakefulness, off balance. Our bodies are naturally programmed to be awake during daylight hours and asleep during the night. When you work night shifts, for example if you're a support worker and you regularly do night shifts at a hospital or care home, you're forcing your body to stay awake when it's naturally inclined to sleep. Over time, this can lead to a condition known as shift work sleep disorder, characterized by excessive sleepiness, insomnia, or both. Moving on to mental health disorders, they often go hand in hand with sleep problems. Conditions like depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder can lead to a state of hyperarousal, making it difficult to fall asleep or stay asleep. It's a vicious cycle, as poor sleep can further exacerbate these conditions, leading to more severe sleep problems. Lastly, let's talk about stress. Stressful events, whether they're one-time occurrences or ongoing issues, can trigger acute or chronic insomnia. When we're stressed, our bodies produce hormones like cortisol, known as the stress hormone. High levels of cortisol can keep us in a state of alertness, making it difficult to relax and fall asleep. In essence, night shifts, mental health disorders, and stress can significantly disrupt our sleep. But don't lose hope. Understanding these factors is the first step toward taking control of our sleep health. We'll dive into practical steps you can take to improve your sleep in the next scene. Understanding these factors can help us take steps toward better sleep. Now that we've understood the reasons behind sleepless nights, it's time to talk about solutions. The first step on this journey to better sleep is, of course, establishing good sleep hygiene. This means creating a sleep-friendly environment and sticking to a consistent sleep schedule. Now let's delve into some practical action steps. First up, deep breathing. This is a simple yet powerful technique that can help you relax and prepare your body for sleep. Just take a slow, deep breath in, hold it for a moment, then slowly exhale. Repeat this process for a few minutes and you'll likely feel a sense of calm wash over you. Next, 
we have progressive muscle relaxation. This involves tensing and then releasing each muscle group in your body, starting from your toes and working your way up to your head. By focusing on the sensation of relaxation, you can distract your mind from any thoughts that might be keeping you awake. Our third technique is the 478 breathing method. This involves inhaling for a count of four, holding your breath for a count of seven, and then exhaling for a count of eight. By controlling your breathing in this way, you can slow your heart rate and soothe your nervous system, helping you to fall asleep faster. But remember, these techniques are not one size fits all. What works for one person might not work for another, so don't be afraid to experiment and find what works best for you. And finally, don't underestimate the power of a good bedtime routine. This can include anything from reading a book to listening to calming music or taking a warm bath. The goal is to signal to your body that it's time to wind down and prepare for sleep. Incorporating these techniques into your routine can make a significant difference in your sleep quality. We've explored the complex world of insomnia today, understanding its causes and discussing potential solutions, from the impact of alcohol and caffeine to the role of lifestyle habits and chronic pain, we've delved into the many reasons why you might be struggling to sleep at night. We've also touched on the influence of night shifts, mental health disorders, and stress on sleep patterns. Importantly, we've offered some practical strategies to tackle these issues head on, from deep breathing and meditation to establishing a solid bedtime routine. However, if you're still finding it tough to drift off into dreamland, remember it's crucial to consult a healthcare provider. Insomnia can be a symptom of underlying health conditions, and professional guidance is invaluable in these instances. If you found this video useful, do leave a comment below. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video, and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to detox from sugar and learn how to curb your sugar cravings, watch the video on your screen next. Remember, a good night's sleep is not a luxury, it's a necessity. So, let's strive for better sleep, starting tonight. Finally, if you want to start your health journey, use our free calorie and protein calculator in the description below. It can be your companion and accountability partner on your journey to better health.